how do you write a brand positioning strategy? <laughs> if I only knew. <laughs> no, it's the um, so like, there, there's a lot of ways to write it, right? And and there's a there's a um, I'm not going to give you the correct answer, and that's why I'm laughing. Uh, the correct answer is uh, it's like hey, there's a lot of different ways to think about positioning and there's nine different ways that you can kind of consider your value versus the market and you can anchor yourself against a competitor uh, and be or the anti that guy or you can be price oriented or you can have a value that you attach to. There's all these different ways. Um, the way that I write it is a little bit different. Uh, I believe the truth is out there. You know, it, we all talk about gut feelings, right? Well, if you're having a gut feeling and we all want to trust our gut, the idea is that can't be real unless your gut is reacting to something that already exists. So what is that thing? And, uh, and apropos of what we were talking about before, usually when I get into an organization, there's already messaging. It's probably not discipline. It's a little all over the map, but it exists. There's stuff that's out there. And what that means is the truth is out there and the truth is going to be buried in those documents. And these folks are probably too close to it to see. They can't tell the difference between, you know, some of their messaging was probably written for their current value, some was written for future value, some is different benefits, right? It's all out there. But I guarantee that the truth, their gut has been pushing them in a particular direction and there's a thread that ties a lot of those materials together. They can't see it because they're too close to it. But how do I write a, a brand positioning message? I start with what exists and I go look for those threads. And then I come back and I say, hey, here's some threads that I have discovered in your messaging. Let's talk about this. And we start with that. And usually that elicits those light bulb moments where it's like, yeah, I would love to, but I'm afraid, uh, you know, of leaving this other group out or I'm afraid of, or I'm afraid of, or I'm afraid of, right? You know, and, and, and all of the noise is basically them trying to uh, allay their fears. So I know you asked for a one minute answer and that was a little bit longer. Uh, to summarize, you have a, a, a sound bite for it. How do I write it? I look at existing messaging. I look for the common thread, the truth uh, that is straining to find its way out. And I try and carve away as much of the stuff that was added because of fear. And, and I look at that. And if that's not right, then we go back and we start doing more traditional marketing things to assess what is the market looking for, where are you misaligned, and, and how do we align. But the very first thing I do is I start with what exists to see if, if we can leverage that. Amazing, right? <laughs>Thanks for watching these golden nuggets. And as a reward, I got another big fat golden nugget just for you. I wrote this book for you to help you get your act together online so you can grow your business better. You're searching. You want to learn. This is a great book. Grab the book. Grow your business.